Well, CK here. This will be a part two to my AR-15 breakdown, where I demonstrate how to clean and lubricate all the moving parts of an AR-15. Now I'm going to show you the tools and supplies used to clean an AR-15, or that I use to clean an AR-15. First, I have some number nine hop solvent, some CLP cleaner, preservative, and lubricant for long time long-term storage, and some hops. Uh, general lubricant. I have a 20 gauge bore brush that I use to clean the chamber of my AR. I have a 22 caliber bore brush that works for a 223. 22 caliber bore mop, flathead screwdriver, an attachment for some uh, cleaning pads. I have normal size cleaning pads cut in half. A wire brush. And a bore snake. I like to use the 20 gauge bore brush to get inside the chamber. I know they sell M16 chamber brushes, but I believe this works just as well. Just slide it in there and work it around in the chamber. And then throw on the 20 gauge bore mop to sweep up the chamber with. Run it in there. Just swab around in there, trying to get any loose sediment or anything. Look at all that residue. Now to start with the small parts of my AR. If you need to, need to know how to take apart your AR down this far, just refer to my previous video, uh, AR-15 Takedown and Review. Here I have my bolt, extractor, and firing pin, and all the pins that go with it. Soaking in the number nine solvent in a little CCI 22LR 20, mini mag case. I like to soak them during cleaning the lower and upper receiver. I like to take my charging handle with a cloth with a little bit of that CLP on it and just moisten it, make sure there's no rust or damage on it. Same thing with the bolt carrier. Wipe her down, get her lubricated. I also like to take a Q-tip, lubricated, and stick it in this gas key, and roll it around, get the residue out of there. Just make sure you don't leave anything in there with the Q-tip. And then your buffer, buffer and buffer spring. I just like to take that same cloth, just firmly wipe it down. Looking for residue. It's fairly clean right now. Now on to the lower receiver. First, I like to look at the outside of the buffer tube, make sure there's no rust or damage or anything. I typically keep that dry, I mean it, it runs fairly well. Then I like to release the trigger, and I forgot to mention you might need some Q-tips in this. Take some of that Hops General Lubricant on it, and just work it around in the trigger mechanism. Just get all the residue you can out of there. Make sure you don't leave anything in there. Mine's fairly clean right now, but you can tell it's not all the way clean. And then I like to take some of this CLP. And spray just a little bit down in there. Also with the lower receiver you have these takedown pins. I like to push those in a bit and hit it with the CLP on those.
Now on to the upper receiver. First of all, I like to take that lubricated cloth, make a small spot, maybe stick your finger in there, and run it around inside. Maybe get your chamber a little bit, or your... Yeah, see it's quite dirty in there. Get it nice and lubricated in there, nice and clean. Yeah, it's real dirty in there. And now I like to start off with a 22 caliber wire bore brush attached to the cleaning rod. And run it through. And make sure you take the brush off the end so you won't run that residue back through. I've seen some people do that. And repeat that maybe two more times. And attach your 22 caliber bore mop. And mop the residue out. Taking it off after it comes out. And repeat that one or two more times. And then this may be overkill, but I bought the thing and I'm going to use it. It's a 22 caliber bore snake. Just drop the weight down inside. Start at the muzzle and pull out. Make sure the tail end doesn't get caught on anything. And then I like to run some lubricated patches through just for a final touch up. Like I said, it may be overkill, but for long-term storage, this is a good idea. I typically use four of these, but use them until it's clean. See there, it's not too dirty. That's fairly clean, especially with the cheap ammo I shoot. Now to put the gun back together. Starting with the bolt and the extractor. Line up the holes, slide it in place and slide in your extractor pin slide your bolt into your bolt carrier extractor at the 11 o'clock position your bolt retainer pin now drop the firing pin into the bolt Firing pin retainer pin. Bolt carrier group into your AR. We'll charge and handle it first. Bolt 
carrier. Snaps. All right, to put the buffer back in the buffer tube, you do not need to press the pin down. Just slide the spring in and lock the buffer in place. To meet your upper receiver with your lower receiver, use the front pin first and lock them together. And then back pin, dust cover, and do it. Do a check of your gun, thing runs smooth. Everything looks good. I have this automobile cloth that I use to typically wipe, wipe down my AR after cleaning. A little oil grease. I'm kind of really generous with that oil. Usually leaks out an hour later. I'll probably have to do this also to leak out. Just clean the exterior down. I mean, you don't really have to, but it's probably good to do. You don't want sand sticking to your gun. Wipe out the magazine chamber even. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. There should be more to come. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and favorite. And even share on your Facebook if you'd like to. I want to give a shout out to Pro Rancher for giving me the inspiration to do this video. And you'll have a good day.